I'm Maverick Hayes. In this video, I will take you to a water show and hot air balloon festival. Find out why the hot air balloon surprised me. I will also take you to where I stayed and take you to a Mexican restaurant with bad reviews. Were the reviews wrong or did I regret going? Please subscribe to my channel now so you can catch all of my adventures. This video is full of surprises. Greetings from Manitowoc, Wisconsin. It's Maverick Hayes. I am here for their Balloon Glow Fest. They also have a fireworks show here, and they will have a water ski show along the river, the Manitowoc River. Manitowoc is a little over 32,000 people, and I'm about 42 miles south of Green Bay, a touch over 80 miles north of Milwaukee, and the festival is going on behind me here. So let's check out what's going on here at Manitowoc. You can see you got some people sitting on this side and just across from the Manitowoc River is where they will be launching the balloons later this evening. Also the fireworks show and the water ski show will be happening here. This is a free event. It's my first time here but it's been going on quite a few years now. And Manitowoc, like I said earlier, is just between Milwaukee and Green Bay, closer to Green Bay. And I'm right off the lakefront here as well. Not sure if you can see that or not, that marker out there. But that, on the other side of that, the uh, breakers out there would be Lake Michigan. And the body of water right in front of me here is Lake Manitowoc. It just feeds right out of uh, Lake Michigan and works its way going more west before it dips south. It should be a nice event. Uh, the weather here is perfect this evening. It's uh, low 70s, a little bit of a breeze, but at least it's sunny because on my way here from the Madison, Wisconsin area, it was storming. And those storms will uh, be hitting this area, but not till later this evening. So hopefully that won't happen until after everything is done. This must be part of the uh, water ski show. Maybe getting ready to go out there and practice a little bit. As you can also see over there, they've got a uh, blow up section, a little bouncy castle and a bouncy slide. And I believe it's all free for kids. And we got a giant, an old giant warship over here. I'll get a better view of that from a different angle momentarily. They have a ton of food trucks here as well. Let's check out what they've got in the food trucks and grab something to eat. As I was walking closer to the uh, food trucks and the festival grounds here, I saw a giant white lighthouse. Might be able to see it way out there if I can stop wiggling the camera. And the birds know that there's food in the area and people here, so I'm sure they came hungry. They have several food trucks here and different kinds of foods. And one of the food trucks that I saw, as I was walking here, I'll show you here shortly, is definitely one I'll have to hit. Can you guess what kind of food truck it is? And there's a lot more food trucks just over there on the other side of the trees. And in case you were wondering what time I'm recording this right now on Friday evening, August 19th, it's almost six o'clock, central time. Check out some of the food trucks here. There are a lot of hungry people. Look at this crowd here for all the food trucks. Yeah, that's a lot of hungry people. So, let's take a look at what they have. Okay, just walked uh, around that corner there from the other food trucks. And this was the one that I saw. I thought it's, this was exactly what I thought it was. Fresh cookies. I'll be right back for that one. Oh, they got pizza here too. Pizza from a food truck. That would be interesting. I'm gonna keep that up there as a choice, but I wanna see what else they have food truck wise. Oh, they got a corn tent for fresh corn. He gets a nose being filmed. That's a lot of salt. Not healthy for you, all that salt. All right, we got uh, Derek's here. Curbside grill, looks like uh, from the menu from what I can see over here. Sandwiches, yeah, I know it's hard to see in the uh, 
in the screen there, but sandwiches, burgers, hot dogs, so forth like that. A&W is here, and of course you're probably familiar with what A&W has. Balloons for the kids here, hats as well, sparkly hats, uh, snow cones in this tent over here, and we got a uh, popcorn food truck. Well, there's actually a lot of choices here. Let me just kind of pan off over here. There we go, this is where the uh, bouncies are for the kids. Okay, I don't want to burst this guy's bubble right over here. Do you see him in the white? He's one of those guys that uh, really doesn't move or barely moves. And I'll sneak up on you. Part in the generator's going. Oh, here's a, uh, another cookie, cookie food truck. They got uh, cookie dough scoops, sandwiches, pies, shakes. I could be stopping at this one as well. The uh, healthy diet strikes again. Over here we've got Thai. Oh, and a Philly truck. Good old Philly cheesesteak, okay. That is going to be dinner tonight. Okay, just got my uh, food here from that food truck. Did the Philly cheesesteak. That's looking pretty good. I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger though, to be honest. This was 10 bucks. And then we also got this Thai dish here. All right, not sure where to start with this. This thing is huge and messy. That is delicious. Mm. The fresh vegetables in there. I love the uh, seasoning on the meat on this Philly cheesesteak. Very messy, but it is delicious. Glad I bought it. And right behind me over here, you might be able to see the trucks and the trailers. They've got the balloons in them, so they will be getting ready to uh, get those balloons out. On the other side over here are the buildings for uh, Manitowoc. I'm downtown Manitowoc. And just over here is uh, Lake Michigan. Obviously, that's going to be to my uh, east. And behind me is the Manitowoc River, as you saw when I came in. I want to get, show you the, um, the uh, old warship over here. This thing is huge. It's longer than the uh, building that it's docked in front of. So I've got myself a uh, riverfront seating here. We'll have a great view of the, uh, the show, and here we go. That didn't quite work out so well for him. There you go. There is a younger skier in there. They were saying over the PA that their youngest skier here at the show is four years old and the oldest skier is 76 years old. This is a uh, father and daughter combo over here. This event's been going on over 30 years. Again, I'm in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. These are only about 16 inches long. Long enough to put a boot on. There you go, ladies. Here comes the uh, guy we just saw with the uh, miniature water skis right here. Look at those. Nice. They're moving now. Two 250 Mercury horsepower outboard motors. Look what I found. Oh! If you're interested in more information on this annual event, I put a link below in the description. Got some speed going here. I wonder if I could do uh, sports commentating on water skiers. Kind of like a golf announcer. And there they go. One almost fell, but they did okay. All right, here they come again. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's right, I'm, I'm water ski commentating right now, okay. And they're waving to the crowd. And as they do that, they're gliding across the water. Look at them wave. Look at that stance. Nice job. And the rain is starting. 
Wasn't supposed to start till late tonight, but it is here. Looking at the radar, it looks like it'll just be a quick shower. And they are building a pyramid right now. Doing a great job. That can't be easy. I couldn't do that on stable dry ground, let alone the water. That's that's pretty wild. Well, that water show was pretty good, and now behind me, they are getting ready to get the balloons out, hook up the baskets, and we will have a glow balloon show. Let's take a closer look at what they're doing. Got two balloons up in the staging area right now. And they just gotta keep blowing the torch to keep these two going. So we got uh, seven balloons total. If my math is correct, and the uh, five times I did third grade, two up, five to go. Correct me if I'm wrong, I comment below. Oh, that must be the new uh, invisible balloon right there. You can only see the uh, fire. I've never seen a hot air balloon blown up before, but this is interesting. So they start off with like a giant fan before they get into the, the flame. And now we're gonna get blocked. Fenced in. I've officially turned into a how-to channel here on YouTube. How to blow up a hot air balloon. I hope my pocket knife is closed. So they crank the fan up. Made it a little bit more powerful. And I believe I hear the torch on this. No, I don't. I think we would see it come, the lighting from the uh, fire come through this, so. So I'll put the entire blow up of this on my Facebook page. So follow me along on my other social media, Instagram and Facebook, and you could watch the entire balloon get blown up, unedited, on Facebook. So I'm trying to figure out what this symbol is up here. Do you know what that is? If you do, comment below. I really don't know what that is. There we go. Yeah, that makes a difference. Torch works. And that's how you blow up a hot air balloon. So while we are waiting for the balloons to be ready, they have a fireworks show going, which is blocked by this tall structure. Apparently you have to be on the other side of Manitowoc to see the fireworks tonight. So this is interesting. Something I just learned is the balloons do not go up in the air. They stay on the ground and the glow part is every time they fire off the torches, the, the heat, to keep the uh, balloon going. And uh, I thought they were just doing that while they were waiting for all the balloons to be ready and go up in the air. That is a bummer. I was really looking forward to seven balloons going up in the sky at night it's not happening here and uh, it's still a neat thing to come out and check out they had the water ski show all the food trucks and they had the uh, free bouncy castle and so forth like that for the kids but the balloons do not go up in the air one of the things that I do every now and then that you've probably seen if you follow the channel is I'll uh, I'll do a quick review on the hotels I'm staying at and you know if it's a chain hotel you know what a Holiday Inn is, you know what a Marriott is, so I don't do reviews on that. But if I stay at a kind of a ma and pa, an independent place, then I'll, uh, I'll share it with you. And this time around, I'm at the Harbor Inn. Welcome home, they say. So this is a, uh, a neat little place here. I'm still in Manitowoc because I am a good two and a half, almost three hours from my home. So I will stay here before moving into the next adventure. And uh, I thought I'd show you where I'm staying. Kind of hanging out for the night. So let's go check out the Harbor Inn. So I could tell they have a lot of workmen that must come here because there's boots here, unless they're complimentary with your stay. Of course, you could always wipe your feet as well. So 
they must have deals with um, utility workers and so forth. I'm staying in 201, so if you want to come visit me at the Harbor Inn in Manitowoc, it's 201. By the time you see this video, there'll be a different guest in there. But still, feel free to come on by. Welcome home. Oh, it's like Motel 6, they left the light on. Well, this is very nice, very cozy. It's, uh, it's got kind of a country feel to it. So we have the uh, nice white sheets. Uh, th this is a double size bed. I could have sworn it was a queen, that uh, is what they said in the uh, online, but I mean, that's okay, this is fine, but uh, otherwise that's the world's smallest queen. Uh, over here, got uh, the refrigerator, microwave, decent sized TV, uh, drawers, standard room, nice and clean. Uh, they've got an accent wall, which is nice. I don't know if you can see it very well with the lighting in here. And let's take a look at the restroom. Woo, right in here. There we go, nice and clean. Uh, sink down there, picture of a lighthouse, makes sense for this area. Towels. Tub looks clean. Everything you expect in a uh, in a motel. No frills, but uh, it's clean. So I think this will do the job for the night. I'm going to get some rest. So that room wasn't bad. I did like it for a nice independent motel. I would definitely recommend it. So now it's dinner time. I'm back in Wisconsin, Dells, Wisconsin, and I'm going to try this Los Corrales, Corrales? Authentic Mexican restaurant. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Now, before I go in, I do need to be honest. One of the things I did check was TripAdvisor and Google ratings. They don't do so well in the ratings. So, are the ratings accurate, or is this going to be a bad experience for me? We're going to find out together. As we go inside, Los Corrales, Corrales. Corrales? I don't know. Let's go find out if it's good or not. And of course, we get the chips right away. These are always so good. Here. Give you a nice crunch. I'm assuming it's a uh, homemade chips here, like a lot of restaurants do. And the uh, salsa is pretty good. I gotta ask how they pronounce this place, what the name of it is. Alright, holy cow. Look at the size of this menu. So I'm not going to sit here and read it to you but I'll just kind of scan it here with the camera really slow. Okay, so I gotta ask, how do you pronounce this place? Here? Yeah. Los Corrales. Ah, okay. Los Corrales, right there. That's what I was gonna say next. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, they say a uh, picture is worth a thousand words, and this menu is loaded with pictures. So we have several thousand words going on right now. I'm in the mood for a burrito. Love a good burrito. Chimichanga. It's always been a funny word, don't you think? Chimichanga. Come on, say it right now as I'm scanning this menu here. Just say it out loud. Chimichanga. Chimichanga. See? It's a fun word. <laughs> Catches on. Maybe I should go sit down with the uh, other patrons here at the restaurant. And... Yeah, it's going to say chimichanga. Look at this menu. I just keep going and going and going. And uh, here's probably the section that a lot of people are wondering about their margaritas and daiquiris. And they've got it all here at Lost. What he said. I think that's in case I get lost. I'm at table seven, just waiting on the food. Only ordered about maybe 10 minutes ago, if that. So we will see. Um, this, is this going to be uh, delicious or is this going to be a bust? The only. Mexican style restaurant that was rated worse here in a Wisconsin Dells was Taco Bell. We'll see if I should have ran to the border instead. Okay, it's going to be a surprise. Is this the chicken or is this the beef? 
That's just the shell. Let's dig in here. Oh, this is the, uh, the chicken. Might be a little hard to see there, a little messy. But that's the uh, chicken. Let's find out. All right, let's try the beef. I'll give you a full, honest review after a. This is just the uh, first bite of the chicken and the beef here. Nope. Hard to get it on the fork. There. there we go. The inside of the beef. Rice right here. Okay. I'm not going to let you know what I think yet. I'll tell you when I'm done eating. We'll find out if it's actually the worst Mexican restaurant where I'm at right now, or if I think it's better. I thought I would come back to my studio to give you an honest review because I just couldn't think in there. It was so loud and I just didn't want to yell anymore. They had the music cranked up. So I thought I would just come back here and give you a quick review of the Mexican restaurant I just came from. Disclaimer here, I'm not a professional food critic. I'm just some guy with a camera that has a YouTube channel that likes to go in and do reviews. On restaurants, I like to break it down to four different categories, which is atmosphere, cleanliness, the taste of the food, and service. So let's start with the atmosphere. I thought it was a really nice atmosphere. It wasn't uh, overdone, super over themed, but it, it had a, a nice Mexican feel for it, which is good because it was a Mexican restaurant. A lot of seating, a lot of uh, tables in there. Um, so it was a good looking atmosphere. The music, as we talked about, was a little loud. So I would have turned that down a little bit, but appropriate music. Uh, for the restaurant. They weren't pumping in satellite radio. I thought all in all, the atmosphere was pretty nice. The cleanliness was also nice. The only complaint I've got about the cleanliness is when I sat down at my table, it was sticky. And it almost seemed like that somebody spilled pop or soda, depending on what part of the world you're in, or how's about soda pop. But it seems like someone's pilled, uh, spilled some pop all over the uh, table and the rag they used wasn't um, you know, good enough and it just left a very sticky feeling. Same thing with the menus as well. Other than that, Everything was good. I had to use the restroom. That was clean. There was no debris or any garbage on the floor, under the table, nothing in the booth. So I can't complain about that. That was pretty good. Now the service. I, I really liked our waiter. He was a nice guy. He, uh, he was uh, a lively, a fun, outgoing guy. And the person that even seated us, the uh, host, no complaints there whatsoever. So we're doing good here on a restaurant that comes in 9 out of 10 in Wisconsin Dells for Mexican restaurants. Now the food, that's why we go to restaurants, right? The food, yeah, I have to leave it at a low score. The uh, dinner I had, it was a double burrito. One was a beef burrito and one was a chicken burrito. And then of course there was the sour cream and the lettuce and the rice. Let's start with the rice. The rice was either mushy or crunchy. It was a surprise in each bite that I took. I'm not sure what I was about to get. So uh, it was mushy at some parts. Some parts just tasted like it's overdone or even sitting out a little bit too long and maybe in the container it was in under a hot light and it was just starting to get a little crispy on the edge there. Uh, so, and it was very bland, the rice as well. It was just, it was just nothing exciting about it. The beef burrito was my least favorite. Uh, it had a strange, aftertaste for me and it just kind of lingered it wouldn't go away same thing with the chicken burrito but the beef burrito it was just a little bit uh you know funkier i did check by the way just to make sure the beef was fully cooked and everything it looked like it was and the chicken burrito chicken was uh it tasted fine it wasn't dry it was moist and so forth but um you know it was just so so again i think it was that um that, that whatever that sauce is that they put on top of the burritos, it uh, just had a weird aftertaste and it just had like a little bit of a metallic taste to it. I don't like to give negative reviews. I really don't. First of all, I love to give positive reviews because I want to enjoy the experience when I go into a restaurant or a hotel or whatever I'm doing. I really want to enjoy the experience. I'm paying for it. And I want to be able to share that so maybe someday you might be able to check it out yourself. But I'm also not going to lie to you, so I don't think I will be back. If you should ever have the opportunity to visit this restaurant in Wisconsin Dells, you can decide and then just comment below on this video or hit me up on social media. Anytime there's the social media logos, 
I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you follow me on my other social media channels as well because I do post things there that don't always make it to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you watch. Give this video a like. It's like giving a waiter a, a tip, so I would really appreciate a tip. Give it a like and share me with your friends. You'll see me on the next one. Greetings from Manitowoc, Wisconsin. They're excited to be here as well, apparently. Let's do another take on that. Greetings from Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Again? Greeting? <laughs> it's going to be one of those. Okay, we're clear. Greetings from Manitowoc, Wisconsin. It's Maverick Hayes. I am here for their Balloon Glow Fest. Just to pass some time here. I call it the Dorito Taco. I don't know how high I can go with this one here. Mom always said, never play with your food. It's like Jenga. Building a little tower here.